wheels of a van goes round and round, round and round. All through the town. How are you, Gretus? It's your teacher, Nonsieta. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Wow, you're still here on fractions. But now, today, can you take out your circular cutouts? Teacher, ours is here. Very good. Let me see your cutouts. Did you bring more from home? Yes, teacher. We brought more from home. That's nice. What about you? You only have the one you made yesterday in class. Wow, seriously? You refuse to try and make more? Okay. If that is what you wanted, then well and good. Now, I have my orange here still intact. A hole. And what did you say a hole is? We said a hole is a complete thing. What about this one? It is still complete. What about this one? It's still complete. Now, what if I decide to divide this orange into two equal parts? Uh, Janet, yes, go to the kitchen, pick an orange and distribute and share it with your brother. Janet goes to the kitchen, picks the knife. Of course, do we eat fruits before we wash? We must wash the fruits before eating. So Janet goes to the kitchen, picks the orange, cleans it nicely with running water, takes a knife. And what does Janet do to the orange? Janet cuts the orange into two equal parts. Let's see. And of course, you do it slowly, gently. And of course, make sure it is well split. Wow. It's very juicy. What have I done? I've divided this orange into two equal parts. I have shared this orange into two equal parts. Is that okay? Have you seen? Now, can I tell this person this is a fool? Look at this now. If you compare the apple, the tomato, and the orange, can I tell someone that that orange is a fool? Is a whole? No. Why? Some part is missing and you are able to see. Are you seeing there's a part missing? Yes, teacher. Then, what do we call that part that is missing? Or what do we call the part that is remaining? How do you call the, the remaining part? Now that I've taken part of the orange away, how do we call that part that is missing? Or how do we call that part that is remaining? Now, I had my orange like that. I had my orange like that nicely. Then I decided I want to divide this orange into two equal parts. I want to divide this orange into two equal parts. Okay? Now, assuming that this is the part that Janet gave the brother. Assuming that this is the part that Janet gave the brother. Take out your cutouts, take out your cutouts. So this is your whole full orange. Janet takes the orange, fold that pepper nicely into two equal parts in a way that no part should be bigger than the other. Fold it into two equal parts. Teacher, we have done so very well. And now Janet says, the part that I'm going to give my brother, I will shed it. I will shed it green. So Janet does the shedding of the color that, the part that she's going to give the brother. So let's see. Do you have your clients on the tables? You have your clients with you? Very good. Now. Use that crayon to color the part that you're going to, Janet is going to give the, the brother. Very good, very good. Remember, we're talking about an orange. So which color are we using? Orange. Nice. Now, this is the color that Janet is going to give the brother. And now Janet decides to share the orange equally into two parts, but decides the part that I'm going to give my brother, I'm going to shed it like that. So, 
Janet sheds the part that it's gonna give the brother and here it is. The same way I've shaded mine on the board. Now, tell me something. How do we call the part that Janet is going to give the brother or the part that Janet is going to remain with? This part is called a half. A half. And in symbols, because math is made of words and symbol, it is one over two. In symbols, we're talking about a half as one out of two. What does one out of two mean? It is me, it means these are two equal parts. And if Janet took one part and gave the brother the other part, Janet remained with only half of the two parts. So this is half of the two parts. How was our orange before it was cut into two equal parts? It was a whole thing, a complete thing. Then mother tells Janet, Janet, kindly share the orange with your brother. And Janet takes the knife and cuts the orange into two equal parts and gives the brother one half and Janet remains with a half. So what are we saying? Janet only ate half. This is half of the two pieces of orange. So how do you write it? A half. And in symbols, one out of the two parts. Are we together? So what is a half? A half is one part out of two. What is a half? A half is one part out of two. A half is one part out of the two pieces. A half is one part out of the two pieces. The one part, this one part, this one part out of the two pieces that were there. Remember, the orange was as intact as this. And then Janet was told, kindly share it with your brother. And Janet had to split the orange into two equal parts and gave the brother one part. So what is Janet remaining with? Janet is remaining with a half. And what is a half? A half is one part out of the two pieces. One part. This is one part out of the two pieces up to there. Is there any question? I used to add people still coloring. Yes, color, color, color nicely. You know, you can decide to cut it even like this. Even if I still cut it like that, it still gives me the one part out of the half. Now, let's see. What if Janet decided to color it horizontally like this? Maybe using another color. What if Janet decided to color it like this? Maybe it was an apple. An apple is red. What if Janet decided to color it like this? Will it still be the same? Yes. If Janet decided to color it like this, it will still be a half. Why? It is one part out of the two pieces. One part out of the two pieces. So it will not necessarily be cutting it in a vertical way. You can still cut it in a horizontal manner. I can still do it in a, in a, in a diagonal manner. I can still do it in a diagonal manner. And all those are still... What if I decide to do it in a diagonal manner? It will still be a half. Meaning, I will have taken away one part out of the two pieces. And that is what Janet exactly 
did to the orange. She decided to cut the orange into two equal parts. And Janet shared the one part with the brother and she ate the remaining part. Now let's see. What if Janet decided to, to do it in a Teacher, you love colorings. You've also colored. Coloring is good. It helps us grow our muscles nicely so that we are able to write very fast. So we are saying, what if Janet decided to cut it diagonally? Will it remain a half or it will change? That is just the position of line and it will not change as such. The fact remains that Janet divided the orange into two equal parts. Janet divided the orange into two equal parts. We together. So we are able to see how Janet divided this orange. And we have said Janet divided the orange into two equal parts. And those two equal parts are what we call a half. And what is a half? A half is just one out, one part out of the two pieces one part out of the two pieces grade twos any question about a half of a circle any question about a half of a circle now i want someone to tell me out of the three pieces out of the these pieces which one is not a half let me see let me see let me see out of the three pieces. Which one is not a half? Which one is not how Janet shared the orange? Which one is not how Janet shares the orange? I have the first one which I'll call it A. I have the second one which I'll call it B. I have the third one and I have the fourth one which I'll call it D. So which part does not resemble the way Janet divided the orange. Which part? Teacher, yes, Oscar, it is C. C is the odd one out here. This is not how Janet divided. Or Janet, is that how you did? Did you cut the orange into a different piece and you gave your brother the smallest piece and you added the big one? No, teacher, I divided the orange into two equal parts. So this one is the only different one that... Janet did not divide the orange as so. Up to there. Any question? So today in the evening when you go home, I want people to share things equally. I want you to share oranges. I want to share apples. I want you to see. Take photos of different things you will share at home. They should be into two equal parts. Two equal parts. So that when you meet tomorrow, most of us will now have understood what does the term a half mean. Remember, a half is not a whole. What did you say a whole is? A whole is a complete thing. What about a half? A half is one part out of the whole. Is that okay? Any question? Any problem? Now, it was nice having you around and I hope to see you in the next lesson as we explore more things on fraction. Thank you.